as you look at some of the other lawmakers within the New York delegation, typically they're only voting by proxy a handful of times, under 50 for most of them. But Swazi certainly stands out more than 100 of these proxy votes during obviously a very critical time for him in this election. When the pandemic erupted, House leaders in Washington adopted a special rule, allowing members of Congress to vote remotely by designating a fellow lawmaker to cast votes on their behalf. The goal of proxy voting? To keep the House running and its members safe in a health emergency, allowing them, for example, to quarantine without having to miss votes. This would allow some members to not travel to Washington um, in person. It would also then mean that we're fewer people physically on the House floor all at once. Spectrum News examined the proxy votes cast in the past three months as the COVID outbreak faded. Mr. Swazi will vote yes on H.R. 1218. Of 125 roll call votes in the House since January 10th, Congressman Tom Swazi voted by proxy 118 times making him the fifth most frequent proxy voter in Congress. It means he cast almost all of his votes without having to be on the House floor or even in Washington. In letters declaring his intent to vote by proxy, Swazi cited the ongoing public health emergency as justification. However, on some of the days he voted by proxy, he was out on the campaign trail running for governor, attending a campaign kickoff event in New York City on March 1st, participating in an anti-violent crime gathering in Brooklyn on March 8th and speaking at the National Action Network's convention on April 6th, among others. Molly Reynolds of the Brookings Institution says Swazi would not be the first to take advantage of proxy voting. We certainly have examples of members, you know, choosing to go to fundraisers. One of the, the um, first kind of high profile examples of this was some um, Republican members going to CPAC and using proxy voting. New York Democratic Chairman Jay Jacobs, who has endorsed Governor Kathy Hochul's bid for re-election, accuses Swazi of abusing the system. It's one thing to say that you're doing your job. It's quite another uh, to be out campaigning and, and, you know, gaming the system to get your job done. Now, I did reach out to Swazi's team, asking them, him about all of these uh, proxy votes and also just generally how long and how often he's been in D.C. over the past few months. I did get a statement. It was just one sentence long. It reads in part that the congressman uh, continues to take every vote and handle every issue impacting his constituents while he campaigns for governor of New York. Nick. Kevin Fry reporting for us. Thank you.